Hey everybody, this is Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. A different way of starting a video today because uh, I'm in the back of my brother's car and we just picked up a really nice Carson City collection and I wanted to give you guys a first uh, hand look at exactly what I picked up. So uh, let me flip the camera around and show you guys. So this is the collection. 78cc, 79cc, 80cc, 81cc, 85cc, 89cc, 91cc, 92cc, and 93cc. Uh, a bunch of beautiful coins here, but uh, let me get home real quick and I'm going to bust out the light box and show you guys all of these in depth. Alrighty guys, I just returned home and I wanted to show you guys exactly what I picked up today. So I was actually messaged online um, by uh, someone on Instagram saying, Hey, uh, would you be interested in buying my CC collection? And so what I was uh, given um, and what I was shown was the coins that actually weren't, uh, I didn't buy before. So. He actually built a CC collection all the way from 78 CC to 93 CC. And I actually bought his common dates uh, a month and a half or so back. And then he finally said, you know what? Uh, I really want to sell my collection. And uh, can you come and meet me? So I met him. I pulled up and I said, hey, here's your money. And he's like, hey, thank you. And we, we had a really good conversation about him wanting to upgrade and buy some other coins and maybe buy a firearm, I'm not too sure. And uh, I just want to really thank Ryan with Texas Coins uh, just for giving me this wonderful uh, set. But here's 78cc, uh, nothing to scream home about, but still a really nice original coin. And let's move into the next one. And if you hear the dryer in the background, I apologize. I am actually working downstairs today with Lightbox, but I hope you guys still enjoy the content and enjoy uh, taking a look at all these coins. But here is the 79cc, graded uh, fair 15, or fine 15, I apologize. Um, and this coin's really nice as well. I, uh, I, the deal wasn't, what, wasn't too much out of my reach in terms of what I could afford. A lot of the bigger dates were a little bit lower in the grades, but, um, you know, it's it's better for the normal collector because uh, they have a chance at scoring a 79cc or a 92cc or a 93cc or 89cc. And you're going to see all those in this video. But this is a really beautiful coin, nice and genuine. And uh, someone's going to enjoy this coin just as much as we do. All right, so this is a, I'm going to jump into the next one. This is an, and the 80cc. I would say this is the ugliest coin of the set. And you're going to see why. Um, you kind of see these light toning marks, lines on the coin. And then when you flip it over, it has this really ugly brownish toning to it. And uh, sometimes, the lesson I would give you guys is sometimes when you're buying a collection, you're going to buy a lot of nice stuff, and then you're going to buy the ugly stuff, just so... Uh, you can work through the collection and make sure that you have the opportunity to buy it. Because sometimes, if you don't buy everything, you're not going to be able to uh, buy everything. If you don't buy everything, you're not going to be able to get every everything, if that makes sense. So if I didn't want to buy this coin, then he might have wanted to move on to a different dealer. And I would have lost out on all the other coins. So, yeah. And what we talked about in a previous video is that there's the beautiful toned coins, there's the beautiful glass white coins, and then there's the ugly toned coins. This is a more of an ugly toned coin, but you know it's still going to be a good coin for a collector that doesn't want to pay as much for a blast white or beautifully toned coin and just needs this hole filled in their collection. And the rest of the coins are, have really beautiful eye appeal that are in mint state. This 1881 CC, I would say, uh, is borderline PL. Um, you can really see the flashiness of it um, and certain uh, angles. Uh, the, the luster is doing really well also. And when you flip it over the reverse, this is where I felt like it was a semi-PL. Um, and it's got that luster, the deep mirrors in the reverse uh, background. And 
Uh, the coin's pretty nice. I enjoy it. Um, stuff like this is pretty easy to sell. Tougher date uh, CC and also um, just super flashy as well. But a real beautiful piece. Now this coin is also pretty nice. This is an 1885C graded mint state 63 in an OGH holder. 100% um, blast white luster beaming off the coin. The cartwheels are insane on this coin. Um, this coin has everything that you'd want from a collector perspective. Uh, beautiful, blast white, flashy. Also in with some uh, history as well with the PCGS OGH. So this one um, is also pretty nice. Um, it's a really hard date to get to have, and uh, I'm really fortunate enough to be uh, holding this beautiful coin in hand. Next, we will be jumping into the King, the 1889cc. With this 1889cc, um, it's been circulated, but uh, it really speaks to kind of the customer base I have currently. It's not too overpriced for a uh, a key date CC and it also just pops out uh, to me as a dealer because it doesn't take up too much capital but it's also a very desirable coin so I'm very lucky and I'm really happy I was able to pick this one up. Next is probably my most favorite one out of the bunch this is an 1891 CC top 100 VAM 3 uh, spitting eagle with a CC sticker um, it's got beautiful luster um, it, uh, there's a little bit of toning uh, right where the E and the P are on the obverse. When you flip it over, it also has that beautiful luster as well. And uh, if you want to pick up on the VAM, which is pretty prominent with most of these coins, um, you could just see the spitting part where it's got that little dot outside the eagle. This is actually the first one I've ever bought, but I think this is a great one to start with. And um, the reason why I love this coin is because it has an interesting variety. It's like I said, has a CAC sticker and is really eye appealing in hand. And um, this is something that is probably the biggest coin of uh, the lot. And it gives me a kind of that open door for people that really want to jump on a bigger coin like this one and have it as a staple of their CC collection. Uh, the Speeding Eagle is pretty popular. So that's something that stuck out to me. And that's the reason why I loved it and wanted to buy it. And the last two coins we'll be jumping into is the 92cc and the 93cc. This 92cc is a lower grade, uh, like the key date counterparts we've been showing off. But once again, it's it's a beautiful coin, middle of the road for many people. And a, a 92 is kind of a hard date for any of this. So like 92s and 92o, uh, 92p, they're all pretty difficult, and I don't really buy them too often because they're so hard to get in higher grades. And uh, when I came across this 92cc in this collection, I was very stoked because I just don't see that too often down there. And uh, I'm very humbled that I was able to see this coin in hand and also work with it. I think it has a lot of charm to it. And I think that you know anybody that I show this to will, will also have that agreement with me. And uh, wow, it's just a nice coin. And uh, I don't know, I'm just so fortunate to be doing what I'm doing and being able to sell the coins that I love like this one. Well, let me show you guys this last coin. This is an 1893cc, graded fair 12 or fine 12, I keep forgetting, uh, by PCGS. This one is a little bit darker. But once again, we're moving back into that more affordable key date realm. Uh, that's kind of been the popular trend in this collection. A lot of them are the middle of the road for many people. And so that creates a lot more opportunities for me to find more customers or work with customers that I haven't uh, haven't really sold to in a while because uh, they're looking for that particular date that I haven't come across yet. And coin shows have been shut down for a few states and people haven't really been leaving their homes for all that. And so uh, having an online opportunity like I have on Instagram and Facebook gives me um, a better shot with all these people to, you know, uh, find the coins that they like for the uh, the affordable price. And uh, when I get do get savings, I try to pass it on to them 
so they have a one of a kind coin in their collection. But thank you guys for rifling through this uh, beautiful CC collection with me. Hey, I wanted to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Um, comment what you thought your favorite CC of the collection was. And um, uh, just make sure, like, like I was saying, just leave a like if you want to see more content like this on our channel. And uh, you want to see uh, just more time invested into uh, what we're doing on here. Um, we've worked really hard on trying to document and trying to give our perspective as coin dealers and as businessmen and so uh, any interaction that you guys give would be amazing so leave your comments uh, subscribe for more content for our channel and uh, we'll see you guys uh, later on maybe next week uh, or actually maybe in a few days when we have a brand new upload so uh, stay tuned and I will see you guys next time